Hello, I'm James Knight. I'm the founder of Gentle Somatic Yoga. The somatic movement flow that I'm gonna guide you through is to help release the tension of the neck, um, the, the front part of the chest actually surrounding the shoulder all the way around. So who doesn't wanna relieve stress and tension from this part of our body? And I always say that if you can't go to a massage therapist, then try this flow because you're gonna feel awesome afterwards. So if you have the room, please lie down on your side, the right side. And if you have a pillow or a blanket or a towel, I'm gonna to use my bolster to just rest the head on. And bring your, so your um, side body is facing up towards the ceiling. Knees are perpendicular to your hips, ankles perpendicular to your knees. So the start position is with your top arm draping over your side body with your hand and wrist over the hip. Okay, so from this position, bring the head of your shoulder back towards your spine and roll your palm facing upwards. You can let your head turn as well. So you're engaging the muscles behind your shoulder blade to your spine. For those of you that know anatomy, it's the rhomboids, and trapezius, and the paravertebral muscles. Come back to neutral release. So as you bring your shoulder back, pick a different angle. So this time, maybe up and back, roll the palm open, hug mindfully those muscles, and then consciously come out of that by rolling the arm back to neutral, rest the hand and fingers, and just pause. Changing the angle again, roll the shoulder blade back and down. So now you can start to feel the muscles uh, by the tip of your shoulder blade. So hold it there, squeeze, and then unwind slowly back to neutral. In this somatic movement flow, we'll be doing five repetitions with each angle of the shoulder. So let's do two more. So pick an angle in which you can feel the muscles engaging where it just feels kind of good always moving with pleasure with all these flows and then slowly coming out and rest one more take another angle with your where your body just wants to hug itself just pick a tight spot squeeze mindfully hold and then slowly come out and release all muscular efforts all right let's change it up this time, roll the shoulder forward and tuck the thumb underneath. So you're gonna squeeze the pectoralis muscle group, the muscles in front of the chest towards the floor, and slowly come out. This is also working the muscles of the neck coming down into the ribs. So tuck the shoulder forward, pick a different angle, pause and slowly and smoothly come out and release. Again, maybe bringing the shoulder forward and down. How about point the shoulder towards the knees? Let the head roll forward, pause, and coming out to neutral. Release all muscular effort. Rolling the shoulder, how about aiming for the collarbone? So roll the shoulder in towards the chin. So shorten the distance between the chin and the shoulder comfortably. And coming out mindfully, release all muscular effort. One more time, you choose which angle you want to bring your shoulder forward. So feel muscular engagement in front of the chest. And mindfully disengage, coming back to neutral and pause. There's two more directions we're gonna go. This time with the arm, extend uh, your arm towards your feet. You're shortening your side body. Keep the head down and slow and smooth come out and release. Pick a different angle. So reach, you can tip your hip towards your armpit, shorten this distance and come back to neutral. Pick a different angle. So I'm gonna reach and tilt the hip, bringing the hand more forward. It's a short movement, it's not a big movement at all, a small movement. And 
back to neutral. Two more. Shorten the side body, let the head roll, and come back to neutral. Pause. And then last time, pick a different angle. The hand and arm is getting long. Make sure that as best you can, keep your neck and head relaxed. And come back to neutral, pause. Last set. Bring the shoulder towards the ear and shrug. And coming away. Um, if your neck is comfortable, if you haven't had any injuries or you have or you don't have arthritis or bulging discs, then it's you can also take the pillow away or the bolster blanket. Okay, so from here, shorten the distance between the ear and the shoulder shrug, mindfully engage, and then mindfully disengage, come down and pause. Change a different angle. So perhaps bring your chin back and bring your shoulder back and move back to neutral. Pause. Change the angle again. Perhaps bring the shoulder forward. Bring the chin towards the shoulder, shrug the shoulder, and slowly and mindfully come back to neutral. Rest. Two more on your own. Be careful not to um, overstrain the neck. If you want, you can point the nose towards the ceiling. These are all options, but please always pick a movement that feels good to your body. It's not necessarily gonna look like my body. So you just move in a way that feels good, and that way you'll stay safe. So this is the last repetition. And then you can find your pillow or your bolster or your blanket, rest your head, and this is gonna be integration. So bring the shoulder blade back, down, forward, and up. So big, round, smooth circles. You can let your head roll. And just really, the invitation is just to um, enjoy this more of a connecting whole body movement. So you can move in a way that feels good to you, but just make sure you move slowly and stay connected to the sensations and reverse. Shoulder up, shoulder forward, shoulder down, and shoulder back. I'm gonna arch my back. So uh, move in a way where you're just connecting all four points that you did earlier and making them one big circle. And one more time around. And then when you're back to neutral, take a breath. <sighs> and let's check to see if you feel any different between your left shoulder and your right shoulder. So let's do a body scan. Sometimes I call this a soma scan. Just to check in and notice how you feel in the neck and shoulder area in the chest. What do you feel from the inside out on the level of sensation? So I can tell you that my soma, I, it feels like my shoulder is much lower than the right shoulder. I feel more connected uh, with my left side. As I breathe in, I can feel more space. So these are all possibilities that you may feel. So what do you notice? This side feels puffy and big and it, like it would like some attention. So let's change sides. So roll over onto your right side. our start position. So get comfortable with your clothes, bring your knees perpendicular to your hips, ankles perpendicular to your knees, and the start position is your arm on your side body with your hand draping off your hip. 
So let's explore the muscles behind and surrounding the shoulder and the back. So rotate the arm, externally rotate. Mindfully hug those muscles in towards the spine and slowly come back to neutral. And you'll notice that I'm working with my eyes closed often because the intention is to sense and feel from the inside out. So you want to stay really connected with what your body is doing. And this is part of the re-education, the repatterning of those muscles. And every time you hug and squeeze a muscle, you're bringing new life force to that part of your body and releasing stress and pain and stiffness. I haven't been paying attention to how many repetitions. Let's, let's do two more because this feels so good. So aim for a position with your shoulder where it just feels like you're coming into some of the more um, stiff places. So mindfully engage, mindfully disengage, back to neutral and rest. One more. This time roll the shoulder back and down. Just let the head kind of roll on whatever your head is on and come back to neutral and pause okay and then rolling the shoulder forward you can tuck your thumb in internally rotate that shoulder let the head roll and feel the muscles of the chest engaging and disengaging i'm going to move the position of this bolster a little bit so once again every time you do this on your own Pick a different angle. So I'm going to choose shoulder up and forwards. Slowly come out, back to neutral. We, a lot of us carry a lot of tension in the upper chest and the heart area. So now you have the invitation to unwind from those tight muscles by intentionally engaging and disengaging. Bring the shoulder forward and down, maybe towards the knees. Tucking that thumb underneath and mindfully disengaging. And last time, squeeze, hug the muscles in towards the midline, towards the sternum. And Extending the arm down, so shortening your side body. You tip your hip towards your armpit. Keep the head down and disengage. So since you've already done the other side, feel free to close your eyes so you can feel what happens as you reach that arm and tip your hip and slowly come out and release. Pick a different angle. So how about reach your hand behind you Tip your hip, shorten your side muscles, mindful, and come back to neutral. Two more, reach, shorten, and disengage. Feel the muscles engaging in your ribs, in between your ribs, those are called the intercostal muscles. Changing it up. If you're comfortable without whatever you have underneath your head, you can push that away. And let's engage the muscles mindfully uh, between the ear and the shoulder. These, these tight muscles, the levator scapula and trapezius. So mindfully engage those muscles by shrugging the ear to the shoulder and the shoulder to the ear and then come away and letting go. Pick a different angle, tip your head back, bring your shoulder blade back. So each angle you pick, you're engaging slightly different muscle groups. <sighs> this time bring the shoulder towards your chin, shrug, hold, without pain or strain. Come back to neutral. When you come back to neutral, make sure that you release as many muscle groups as you can and rest. Two more. 
Feel free if you want, you can rotate the nose up towards the ceiling. Only if that feels safe for your body. And letting go. And then one more up. I'm gonna choose, you choose wherever you want, whatever angle, I'm gonna choose this angle because that feels good to me. And then coming away and release all muscular efforts. If you can bring whatever you're using to support the weight of your head, let's integrate all four movements. Bringing the shoulder back. Let's go up and forward and down. So big, round, smooth circles. And just let your body move in a way that just feels intuitive. So you might be arching your back, letting your head roll to whatever surface, and just move in a way that feels good. Reverse directions. Shoulder up towards the ear, back towards the spine, down towards the hip, and forward. And if you feel any skips or jumps, feel free to make micro movements and go back and forth and see if you can connect those spaces and then keep going. And when you feel finished, pause and then lie on your back for the post check. This is an important part of the repatterning. Soma scans. Adjust your clothes so you're comfortable. Extend your legs. Take a cleansing breath in through your mouth, in through your nose, and out through your mouth. <sighs> what do you notice as an internal felt sensation? Soften, relax, let go. Let the weight of gravity bring you down towards the floor. So what I notice is after doing this side, it feels much more equal now. Left and right shoulder. easier time taking a deeper breath. These are things that you may or may not notice in your own soma. Just giving you examples of what I'm noticing and feeling. And then begin your transition to roll over onto one side and back to seated. definitely feel that my shoulders are more dropped and then I feel more peaceful. So thanks for following along and remember to always awaken the possible.